All right, what's up guys? Um, so I got a little bored today. Figured I'd work on the pacer a little bit. Uh, last time I tried to start it, it was flooding out gas and dumping out the carburetor. So, since I can't really do any heavy, heavy lifting um, for a couple weeks, I uh, figured I could do some light work on the car. Summertime, good shit moving, you know? So uh, yeah, let's pull this carburetor apart, see if we can clean it, and maybe get it running nice and smooth so I can drive it around the yard. Yeah. Yep, pretty bad. <laughs> That's probably part of the reason why it won't stay running. There's a ton of crap in there. So, let's see how this looks. Ooh. Don't want to lose any screws. This actually doesn't look too bad, but we'll get her all cleaned up and hopefully she'll run a little better. All right, so I made a huge mistake while doing this. Um, you know, it happens. I've actually said this in other videos when uh, when I did the chainsaw fix-up video. Uh, I was cleaning the carburetor and I mentioned to you guys, you know, don't ever blow compressed air through the holes without knowing where they go and just being prepared because there's little jets and stuff that fly out. And stupid me, you can actually see it in the video. I'll try and slow it down for you. That little brass fitting went flying out and onto the floor and I ended up grabbing the car and pulling this out of the way so that I could see underneath there and I was like, yup, no, I'm never going to find that. Not a chance in hell. And uh, after an hour I went inside, gave up, had a, uh, had a quick beverage, came back out and boom, I found it. I found it right there in the grass. I couldn't believe it because there's absolutely no way I'm gonna find another one. I mean, it's a it's a 76 AMC Pacer. Maybe I'd find one, but probably not. And it would be a hell of a headache. So, woo, we're back on track. Let's see if we can get this fucker running without any more hiccups. Got the carburetor cleaned, and I think that sounds pretty good. What do you think? Sounds like she needs some plugs, wires, and maybe the exhaust put on. But in all honesty, that ain't bad. I'm gonna see if I can drive it around the yard a little bit. I filled the coolant up with water. She doesn't sound bad at all. It's not leaking any gas, so the carburetor's definitely working the way it should. not bad at all. The fuel pump looks like it's staying pressurized. All right.
So at the end of the day, um, I did get it to move and uh, I, I put it on the other side of the yard close to the garage so I can work on it tomorrow. But um, for some reason, it was still having fuel problems. It wasn't leaking out of the plastic canister where it was last time, but now it was, it appeared like the manifold was filling up with fuel and it was leaking out the bottom of the carburetor. I'm going to have to pull it apart and clean it a little better, but after all that work, it was still having problems and I wrestled with it for another hour to get it to start back up, which it didn't. So maybe tomorrow I'll get back out there and pull the entire carburetor off all the way down to the manifold and uh, clean it better. <laughs> you know, it, it was tough though because it wasn't near the garage. But it is now. So I hope to get it running a little better at least so I can just walk out and start it up because I'm sick of messing with it for an hour every time I want to get it started. You know, I want to get this shit on the road. So, but Anyways, I figured I'd just let you guys know how it turned out since I didn't really get any video of it moving or anything. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching and um, subscribe, like if, if you liked it, and uh, stay tuned for more.